If I was in the exterminator business, I would be considering a career change because this year has been jam packed with bug killing action. In fact, the next Bugs Life movie is just going to be a long list of obituaries. Codivers 2, Space Marine 2, Earth Defense Force 6. There has been so much arachnoid killing action that I'm surprised Raid hasn't gone out of business. But let's be real, the fact of the matter is, we wouldn't have these bug hunts without this. And because of this, we got this. And this is actually pretty damn good. But it works. Now, I got offered a key to this game through Key Miller. And to be honest with you guys, I kind of thought the game was going to suck. Due to low player count, mixed reviews, no single player, and online only. It was basically a recipe for disaster. And yet, the game is a complete blast. 16 deranged maniacs dropped into an alien home world where we barely communicate with each other, but somehow we have to stay organized enough to build a home base and mount a defense against the endless onslaught of bugs. What more could you ask for? Not to mention, this is a movie game. What is with us getting absolutely blessed with these masterpieces lately? By the way, it is so refreshing to start a game up and have a clean and crisp menu that's easy to navigate that allows you to jump straight into the action. As you can see, the game has a tutorial, which most players will ignore, and a giant button where you could just click it and play. However, I'm sure you noticed a few distinct items missing that have played so many games. Where is the Battle Pass, Season Pass, Paid DLC, the Cash Shop? Where is the bullshit daily and weekly challenges? Honestly, this really does feel like an old school game that doesn't try to nickel and dime you by milking you for all your worth. How did this game come out in 2024? Want to unlock new weapons, character perks, or attachments? Well, all you have to do is play the game. Can't log in for a couple of days because life got busy? Don't you panic because there are no stupid daily login challenges that make you feel stressed out and have to jump in every day to complete them. This truly is an old school experience where the main objective of the game is simply to play it and have fun. It is so incredible to play a video game that just wants to be a game and not a storefront with a game attached. Surprise, motherfucker. Ah, there we go. Now this feels like a modern video game. So yes, the game does have a cosmetic cash shop. However, for the most part, if you want to unlock 90% of the things in the title, all you have to do is pick the game mode you want and start killing bugs. You don't have to worry about constantly opening your wallet up. You don't have to worry about stupid, boring daily challenges. Simply just play the game and most importantly, be willing to do your part. I'm doing my part. Starship Troopers Extermination does actually offer quite a bit of options when it comes to game modes. You have the core mode that has you and a team of roughnecks running through the classic maps from the original movie. Speaking of the movie, Casper Van Dien, you know the guy that played Johnny Rico, is actually one of the voice actors in it. You know what to do! Kill him all! There's a mode smaller in scope where you and four roughnecks have to hunt your way through a bug hive. There's also a mode where you build a base and at the same time get different objectives on the map that you have to run around and complete in order to achieve victory. And of course, there's the simple horde mode. Build your base and defend it. Every wave completed, the enemies get harder and stronger. And you might be thinking at first, this is pretty damn easy, but you could quickly get overwhelmed and overrun. On top of the game modes, there are six different classes, each with their own unique perks and abilities. The medic gets access to a drone that can be sent ahead to revive your fellow roughnecks. The ranger gets a dashing ability, allowing you to quickly zoom around the map. You could even play as a sniper and get access to a jetpack, allowing you to quickly get to high vantage points where you can snipe your enemies from a distance. But let's go ahead and talk about the major factor holding this thing back. Quite simply, the game has a ton of performance issues. For instance, there are times where I can't even get the game to boot up. Upon clicking play in my Steam library, the game will just simply crash before even making it to the main menu. And when I did get the game to boot up correctly, I still would encounter server issues from time to time. Whether I'm unable to join a match or I'm in a match only to lag out halfway through it, which could be a major pain in the butt. And these type of performance problems aren't just affecting me. 
just look at most of the negative reviews for this game that are on every platform. I know this game just had its 1.0 release and it's no longer technically in early access, but the reality of the situation is if you do purchase the game, just go in expecting the game to feel like it's in early access. While I do think the game is a complete blast, it just has so many glaring problems with optimization and performance. That being said, I do believe the developers are passionate about this project. I mean, just look at this extensive roadmap of content they have planned for Starship Troopers Extermination. Just keep in mind, when you buy the game, you're buying a game that has the potential to be great, and in its current state, is really not there yet. Either way, I would love to hear what you all think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by hitting a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.